at one of these wasps that we found a few times now, sitting on the edge of a Gymnosporia buxifolia. And this time of the day is the best possible time of day to be looking at insects because they stop moving. It's just got a little bit too cold for them, and so this is a great time of day to be looking at them. I know little, nothing about the biology of this wasp. Uh, I have been told a little bit about it, uh, but I have naturally since forgotten it. But it was identified by at least two viewers. Isn't it wonderful? And I said that I thought it you probably used its long legs in much the same way that a dragonfly does to scoop or sort of hawk insects in the air that it might try and then eat. But I need to go and do a little bit more research on this wasp's existence. These are fantastic looking creatures. It's the most perfection, perfection of design. And you can see that those are the wings across the top. And for some reason she has this well, extremely skinny abdomen that sort of comes up and then turns so that it lines up perfectly with her two wings. And you can see her waggling her ovipositor there. I have no doubt she could deliver quite a sting if she wanted to do that. But you don't want to sting me, do you? No, you don't. See the point? <laughs> You say, are any wasps dangerous? What she's trying to do now is heat up so that she can fly. She's feeling threatened, and so she's thinking about trying to fly away. See the point? Look, there are a lot of wasps here that can sting you. Uh, that is dangerous in so much that it's very painful. But they don't tend to have the same effect on people as bees do. Some people are allergic to wasps, but very few. And so although it's very painful, often much more painful than a bee sting, the danger, there's very little danger from them because very few people tend to be allergic to the wasp stings. And I've certainly been set upon by those paper wasps which look like what we call hornets. I've been stung probably 50 times on the top of my bald head once. And yeah, I mean, look, it stung for about, say, 40 minutes afterwards and then it was gone. And I didn't feel any ill effects after that. So I suspect, no, I don't think there are any particularly dangerous wasps. Many that can give you a nasty sting, and I've certainly been stung by more than three or four species. But, you know, I've had shown no ill effects. I mean, obviously, I've got an, a tick, um, you know, and I've had to wear glasses since I was stung by them, and you know, every so often I have to go on a drip and that sort of stuff. But other than that, no, really, no ill effects at all. I'm being entirely facetious. They really don't harm you other than for the pain. Which, of course, is not the case for bees at all. Bees can be, for many people, the most dangerous thing out here. And that's certainly the case for Steph, for example, who has spent countless hours walking into various different creatures life-threatening creatures, for example, uh, like lions and leopards and buffalo, but bees to him are the most dangerous.